And uh, he's a protege of Coach Sutton and said he'll be watching tonight. And always a very nice visit when you had a chance to spend a college basketball night around the former Tennessee Tech coach Mike Sutton. Carolina with the early turnover, the lead for Williams, tried to go back to May, and here come the Golden Eagles. Johnny Vassar, the grad transfer from Northwestern. This is Corey Tillery working baseline. I want to give the team confidence coming into your building. Here's White. Williams slides baseline. Carolina on the board with Kenny Williams. Here's Cameron Johnson. Down low, May the catch and layup. Vic picks up on the dribble and threw it away. Kobe White's got Cam Johnson with him, and he'll score it on his own. White will fire for three, missed everything. May got the rebound, saved it. Williams layup. It's the 10 0 run by Carolina, by the way. Sterling Manley has come in the ball game to replace Brooks after he picked up his second foul, and Henry blocks Nasir Little there. That was impressive. Micaiah Henry is a guy who Steve Payne is counting on. He's kind of developed in his career, and this, he said in the preseason, his time is now, as Kobe White's time is right away. A lot of dribbling by Vic, five on the shot clock. Corey Tillery a three. All right, that was a nice find across court. Carolina up eight. Vassar feeds Alexander for the dunk. And, uh, you know, Steve Payne get him and settle down. Johnson. Seventh Woods along two. Third field goal of the year for Woods over the course of the year. Clay handling the ball, had it poked away by Johnson. May with the turnover. Woods back for May. Basketball, it's a fifth turnover already in this game. And that's where Carolina's done most of their damage. Alexander, the dump off for Vassar's three out of the corner. Johnson a catch and shoot. Too strong. Little to follow. Now to junior play. Garrett Galday, another freshman. He's from Arlington, Tennessee. Here's Vic on the drive. It, and, uh, there's some uh, c you know, contention about him transferring, but finally got here. I think things worked out well for him. Steal by Johnson and one. You get hurt and you get conditioned to feeling hurt, and then all of a sudden you feel healthy, and it's like a new lease on me. Alexander, Garrett Galday, and Corey Tillery out there. Carolina, here's the trap again. Fight. Now Clay down the lane and got the roll. It's to help it out, uh, so... Really nice, uh, nice job by Hunter Vick, keeping uh, keeping his wits about him. Manly in one. He was averaging about 13 minutes a game, but Mike, this guy's got great versatility. Why? Well, and that's, you know, maybe he's the next Theo Pinson. The runner and White. Look at this. Behind the back, here's Black, all the way through, and the soft shot that they've made after a made basket. Yep. Didn't take long for Leaky Black, did it? In the ball game. Henry on the block. Big wide dribble out White to reach in, and he recovered and scored. Had one of the best shooting halves ever in this building. Tillery a three out of the timeout. Galde the rebound. Alexander back for Hunter Vick who bangs the three and been able to kind of integrate himself with the Golden Eagle team. They'd have to get the navel jelly out for me if they had that, if I was sat out for three years. That's how much rust it would be. You know, for North Carolina, the, the stretch you talk, we'll talk about it later, coming up for them is unbelievable. But games like this, no disrespect, sends the fact that you get a chance to, you know, put different combinations out of there and see, see how they work. And here with 4.35 to go, 7th Woods has got five off Coach Williams' bench. Sherfield. Woods actually leading them in assists so far early in this season. Uh, Micaiah Henry. Manley inside for his second field goal. Inside. Brooks. Vick. Blocked by Playtech. Ahead for Little. Bounce pass. Woods. 
Really unselfish play that time. Really. Woods. They get it around for Playtex three. Manley the backside rebound. Up strong. 27 point lead. Sherfield. High arcing three. And that'll get us to the locker rooms. Rather daunting. You see, you gave those numbers. He said, this may be our toughest schedule Ooh. we've had. Absolutely. Here's Brooks the catch from May in the layup. May the rebound. I mean, just called it right out for me. <laughs> Here's Brooks the catch and score. Third field goal. He has seven. He's, he's got, you know, of this group, the body that can compete with the guys up front against North Carolina. Follow the miss. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he, you know, Steve Payne made me feel real old, and he said, yeah, I was a kid, I remember watching you play in the national championship game. From a player coming off the bench, that's pretty strong. Brooks, here's the outlet for Woods. Bounce pass, Robinson, make it eight. Has okay. come out yeah, next. Yeah, Sunday, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, it's pretty, well, pretty daunting. You know, these guys know what the score is at halftime. They can look up at the clock and, and see, you know, what the game is. And a lot of many times, how many times have we done a game where it's been a huge lead? Galde. Nice pass. Clay challenged Manley. Henry follows the miss. Kobe White into the ball game for seventh Woods. And here's Leaky Black on the floor and threw it away. And this is Sherfield in the open floor. In Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you about that. I saw that. I, I was wondering if there was ever gonna be a Nick Saban high school in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> I think he was so amazed he was wide open. Little turns it over. Sherfield again, and the layup. Uh, this is a little stretch that Roy Williams is not gonna be happy with. The double team out of the timeout to run and jump at half court. Here is Black. Manley the follow. Have been efficient tonight, Mike. I wouldn't say they've been flashy, would you? Not yet, at least. Here's Black, Kenny Williams. Rick Bird may be one of the great coaches Absolutely. that nobody knows about in college basketball or in the country. Henry with the left hand uses the window. And at the under eight, Tennessee Tech the ball. Brandon Robinson has come in the ball game to replace Williams. And here's Henry for the dunk. He was a very, very good high school player. And has come here and I think gotten better each year. And now trying to make a contribution. And got the roll. And his second field goal. Black. And Little lost the handle on it. Here's Alexander with Robinson down the floor. And Alexander gets the dunk and the foul. And a lot of details in those teams as well. Stolen by Manley. And given right back. He lost his balance on the outlet. So the Golden Eagles get a chance and Junior Clay the layup. More homage to them about how much time he, you know, coaching takes away from being with the family. Yeah. Little kick for Playtech. Andrew Playtech's first three of the year. Three. Skip out front, Black. High post, Manley the jumper. How about that? And that ball deflected inside. Leaky Black comes up with it. Here goes Woods to the basket and tapped a second time by Manley. Talked about Black, you know, maybe being a primary ball handler. He led that break and Woods was able to fill in on the wing. Henry the dunk and the foul. Hey, Williams, you were fantastic defensively tonight. Well, he's in. He said, Coach, I'd like to say something. And everybody in the, in the room kind of <laughs> whipped around. He said, wait a minute. Is that Luke, you know, on the clock? And it's, it, you know, the two point guards doing a lot of that. But really, everybody has been involved in being unselfish. And a layup for Henry. And take as a positive. K.J. Smith coming to the ball game. The baby jet, if you will. Leaky Black a three. Scary how much he resembles. Eight to shoot, and here is KJ Smith. 
Rush. Shea, a hierarchy shot. Huffman, the dunk. And that breaks the century mark. They get anything like pizza. biscuits. They get biscuits. All right, free, yeah. free biscuits. Yeah. Uh, over six points in this game. Here is Rush. Blocked by Alexander. The other way, Clay. And followed by Henry. And you were never the same after that. Uh, it's amazing how quickly they, they come back now. Yep. Crossland's not all the way back, but Steve Payne told us before the game is to see Huffman throw one in that she cuts it loose. But he said, I'm going to give him a go. Potentially, if the, the timing has worked out in here in the final minute tonight, he'll play as Walker Miller. He's going to be able to get players there. And Chris Mack has done a terrific job with Xavier. Here is KJ for the punch. Carolina put 108 tonight on the board. And they will beat Tennessee Tech by 50. <laughs>